So Voltage has a lot of interpersonal speaking activities built right into the curriculum, no matter what title you're in. Um, and what's even cooler is that with any of these activities, like the one we're looking at now, you can also edit them. So you could replace any of the audio recordings um, with your own. You could also just delete them or create an activity like this from scratch um, with your own questions that you either speak and record right into the computer or um, upload from you know maybe something that you've gotten somewhere else. So they're very versatile and can be used in many ways. Um, but today what I really wanna focus on is how you can add parameters to the assignment when you like assign a page like or an activity like this and how that those parameters can really make it a real world experience for students and how it can prevent cheating. So I'm here looking at this particular one and you can see that there's audio and then there's a recording and now I'm going to assign it. So I'm gonna click on this icon. I'm gonna click create a new assignment. I'm gonna click current page. I'll choose a few classes and I'm not going to give it a folder just because, and I'm not going to give it a due date because what I really wanna focus on are the parameters that we see here. So um, the first one that's just really cool is, um, and pretty simple is the uh, single record or a, you know recording limit, applying a recording limit. This makes it so that students only have one chance to record a response to each question. So they can listen to the audio as many times as they like. That means that if they wanted to, they could prepare a response for it. Um, because they can listen to it so many times. But then once they record their response, they can't redo it. Um, but if you wanna make it more authentic, like their response is more spontaneous and their experience more authentic, then I would recommend doing the automated recording option. So if you click this box, um, you can make it so that basically the students go to that page. They're told ahead of time that they're going to have this experience. When they're ready, they click I'm ready. And then when they click the first audio in the sequence, it will play through to the end. And then automatically after it stops, the recording turns on. So they have to respond. And then when they press stop, the next audio um, turns on automatically after like a five second pause. So they can't listen to the audio ahead of time. They can't prepare their responses. Um, and they just have to record <laughs> their answers to the questions that they hear. This really, um, you know, mimics a real world conversation and allows you to assign one of these interpersonal activities for homework and may not guarantee, but it really highly, it makes it very likely that they aren't um, cheating in any ways. So instead of using class time to pull students one by one out into the hall and do the interpersonal activities that, that way, um, you can assign it for homework and give them that experience um, without using class time. And it also just gives them that experience. So even if you still do one-on-one -on -one interpersonal speaking activities, they'll, they would have had a lot of time, like a lot of opportunities to try it out before then. Um, so that's a really great feature. There's also a feature to apply a recording timer. So this will just make it so that students only have like 20 seconds to record the response. And this is even more in line with the AP exam. Um, like actually the automated recording is as well. So if you wanted to get them prepared for the AP exam or any similar test where it's automated and they only have so much time to respond, then you can do so with the tools in both days. Um, so yeah, so that's what you do. And if you have any questions, you just give us a call or email me at erina at vosesdigital.com. That's E-R-I-N-A at vosesdigital.com. Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>